Welcome to this week's class, When Your Health Matters, the class designed to empower you to better health through knowledge and education. And I'm your host, Dr. Richard Huntoon from Advanced Alternative Medicine Center, located at 138 Canal Street in Pooler Park, that is in Pooler, Georgia. We're in Suite 404 of Building 400. Uh, you can stop into the office uh, anytime that I'm here, and I'd be happy to speak with you and discuss any of the health concerns that you may be having and to offer you solutions that are natural to help your body uh, return to its natural state. Um, if you don't stop into the office uh, due to the reticence related to COVID-19, you can certainly uh, call me directly at area code 845-561-2225. Again, 845-561-2225. That is my cell phone. Uh, please do not text that cell phone as it does not receive texts. But if you do want to text me, you can email me directly at docrick at spineboy.com. That's D-O-C-R-I-C-K at spineboy.com. And it's my pleasure to help you to better understanding with the concerns you have regarding your health. Uh, this is my weekly healthcare class. It's a video class due to uh, people not coming to class because of COVID. So uh, I continue this, uh, this particular class. We're going to talk about cholesterol. Um, cholesterol is, is widely misunderstood. My hope is, is that I can clarify some things for you and give you the understandings that you need. Uh, and if you have issues, uh, you know, consider the offer that I will have for you at the end of uh, this video. So, how many of you watching this video have issues with your cholesterol? Maybe you're taking statin medications to lower your cholesterol. Maybe your doctor is telling you your cholesterol is too high even though you exercise and eat quality food. Uh, so, I'd like to dispel some of the myths around cholesterol and help you appreciate what cholesterol is for. Cholesterol, believe it or not, has uh, major ramifications to your overall health. Um, cholesterol is, is primarily there for cellular protection. It's, help, it's what help makes up the cell wall uh, and what, what allows transport to, uh, things into and out of the cell. So you need cholesterol in order for that to function properly. Uh, every one of your cells contains cholesterol. Um, what else is cholesterol used for? Cholesterol is used for uh, manufacturing of your hormones. So if you have hormone uh, imbalances, if you're taking artificial hormones, etc., that could interfere with your cholesterol levels and uh, create problems with your cholesterol levels as your body chooses to react to uh, having those artificial hormones uh, put into the body. Uh, last but not least, you need to appreciate that cholesterol is your friend. Like I said, it's uh, part of the cell wall of every cell within your body. Okay, it's what helps to make animals animals as opposed to plants plants. Um, interesting thing enough, there, are no, there is no cholesterol found in plant material. So when you eat plants, uh, you're not going to impact your cholesterol in a negative way unless you do something with uh, the plants themselves. Uh, the vegetable oils that people use in order to cook their foods in, fry their foods, uh, saute their foods, etc., um, if it's vegetable oils other than uh, things like coconut oil, uh, which is actually a nut oil, not a vegetable oil, uh, or, or uh, extra virgin olive oil, any of the other oils that you use when you heat them, they're going to uh, fractionate, they're going to break apart, and what that ends up doing is creating a thing called free radicals. Now what free radicals do is they run around and they're scavengers to try to to bind with uh, uh, free hydrogen in an effort to uh, pair up so that they become more stable. What they end up doing is they, they rob from your cells and help create cell damage. So you don't want free radicals in your system. So you want to stay away from vegetable oils as far as heating. Uh, if you want to cook in anything, you want to cook in uh, extra virgin uh, coconut oil. Um, you don't want to cook in olive oil. Olive oil is primarily uh, to be used at room temperature. But um, you won't find an increase in your cholesterol from using plant oils unless you heat those plant oils. And so you never want to heat plant oils, uh, especially if you're going to be uh, consuming what it is that you're cooking in those plant oils. Okay. Um, I believe that nature had it best. There was a TV commercial way back in the day when I was a kid growing up that... Uh, you know, they were talking about uh, vegetable spreads and margarines and, and, 
there was a clap of thunder in the background and you heard this big booming female voice that says it's not nice to fool with mother nature and that couldn't be any further uh, from the truth you you definitely don't want to screw with nature you definitely don't want to screw with how God makes food and you want to eat natural food uh, in its natural state um, but that's not typically what we end up doing so um, you need to appreciate what cholesterol is you have two types of cholesterol you have the good cholesterol uh, which helps to protect your heart and protects how the cells function etc and then you have your bad cholesterol which is known as your low density lipoproteins or your LDL cholesterol uh, everybody's concerned about their LDL cholesterol yet the average person doesn't understand and a lot of doctors from what I see don't necessarily understand what uh, low density lipoproteins represent it actually represents all the damage that you're creating in your body usually due to the completely refined and processed what I call the crap foods when you put artificial foods into your body your body actually has to uh, fight with those foods in an effort to extract nutrition and in the process of doing that uh, one of the things that happens is, is that you'll create low density lipoproteins in response to those garbage foods um, now what what does cholesterol do? Cholesterol actually serves as, as a marker for uh, determining cellular health. And so when you have high concentrations of bad cholesterol, the low density lipoproteins, what that indicates is that you're putting improper ingredients into the body and the body is responding by letting you know. So your LDL cholesterol is actually a measurement of the amount of damage that you're creating to your body and it's uh, not a bad thing to understand but you have to shift your diet when you find that your bad cholesterol numbers are above 100 we don't want your bad cholesterol numbers to be above 100 um, so combine that with the good cholesterol or the HDLs and and the kind of cholesterol they're called very very low density lipoproteins or VLDLs uh, those haven't decided whether they want to be a good guy or a bad guy those those are the uh, the teenagers that haven't decided uh, which side of the fence they want to end up on um, and those all together make up your total cholesterol now something else that contributes to your cholesterol numbers is when you consume too many uh, completely refined and processed carbohydrates uh, when you consume more carbohydrates than your body can process your liver is the first place that gets overwhelmed when it has enough liver storage uh, carbohydrate storage known as liver glycogen what it does is it sends a signal down to the pancreas to tell the pancreas to get rid of all the the excess sugar that's within the blood and uh, that typically contributes to diabetes with uh, an overwhelmed or a tired pancreas um, but you take those triglycerides they get converted over to fat and then those get stored typically as, as unhealthy fat and potentially bad cholesterol so you want to minimize your intake of completely refined and processed what uh, a, a former mentor of mine, the late great Dr. Michael Dobbins, used to call the crapohydrates. You don't want to eat crapohydrates. Um, and so when your triglycerides are, are uh, elevated, you're going to be manufacturing more bad cholesterol over time. So we've watched the numbers of cholesterol slowly come down 225 used to be normal then it was 200 now they want it down as low as 150 and you can get your cholesterol down to as low as 150 if you take the statin medications the challenge is, is that your cholesterol at 150 or lower is is too low and now you're going to create problems health wise uh, the major problems has to do with strokes and the other one has to do with cell damage and when you get too many cells that are damaged uh, that's the foundational basis for cancer where the cells actually uh, mutate and so having a cholesterol number that is too low you want to be mindful of your medical doctor will never talk to you about cholesterol numbers being too low so uh, you want to make sure that you keep your cholesterol somewhere between you know 180 and 200 if you keep it right around 180 to 200 uh, you're fine uh, you don't need medication if that's where your cholesterol is but if your doctor's trying to talk you into lowering your cholesterol lower and lower and lower maybe because you have heart disease in your family's history or what have you um, you gotta be mindful of you could be exchanging heart disease for ha having a stroke or developing cancer so if your cholesterol numbers are an issue I'm gonna invite you to give me a call uh, so that we can talk about what can be done in order to clean your liver out 
so that your body can be more efficient and uh, get back into processing fats the way that it's supposed to and sugars the way that it's supposed to so that you're not driving up your bad cholesterol. Um, so we will be talking about our liver cleanse later on in the month of March uh, and it's through the whole month of April and the whole month of May. So you'll have plenty of time in which to do a 23 day liver detox, full body detoxification program and stay tuned for more of that. Um, so if you are out there and you currently have cholesterol issues and you're taking statin medications and your blood sugar numbers are going up as you're leaning more and more and more towards diabetes, if you'd like to figure out how to address all that naturally, I would ask for you to give me a call at area code 845-561-2225. Again, 845-561-2225. You can email me directly at docrick, D-O-C-R-I-C-K, at spineboy.com, docrick at spineboy.com. Um, and certainly stop into the office. I would be really happy to meet you, really happy to understand what your concerns are, give you an education as to what exactly is going on in your body so that you can get uh, back in control of what's going on. And uh, I would look forward to meeting you. So I want to say thank you for tuning in this week. Uh, that's it for this week's class. Uh, we'll be back next week with another class. And uh, thanks for tuning in.